So while everyone is following the news concerning the Trump assassination attempt, I thought it would be important for me to step outside of this for a moment and take a look at what else is happening around us. Because I realized that even though the U.S. presidency and the news surrounding it is important, let us not forget that the media is often still used as a tool to distract us from other issues around the world. Other world events are not just put on pause because of what happened. So I want to bring your attention back to something that has somewhat eluded us in the past few months because the media has become very successful at diverting our attention. Again, the Trump and future president issue is an important matter and I'm not dismissing it. I just want to momentarily turn your attention to some other things that may be of concern for those of you who are interested. Within the past few months, there have been a multitude of reports coming out of several agencies and news outlets about a storm. A storm that seems to have come upon us and many seem to be unaware that it is happening. There is nothing new about how this world operates and the powers that be who run it. When they have the opportunity to have things their way, they will leave us behind in the dark to fend for ourselves. People are economically desperate right now and so everyone has their heads turned to the government for answers and solutions. And so while many people around the world are busy tending to politics, finances, relationships, and world war, skies fall. NASA warns of a 250-foot asteroid hurtling towards Earth. An asteroid which measures more than 250 feet in diameter, the same size as that of the Statue of Liberty, is hurtling towards Earth at a very high speed. This asteroid, named Asteroid 2024 MT1, is expected to pass by Earth on July 8, 2024. NASA had earlier issued an alert for this giant space rock. This rock is part of a group known as Apollo Asteroids. This group of near-Earth asteroids are named after the 1862 Apollo asteroid discovered by Carl Reinmuth, a German astronomer. NASA warns of a 100-foot asteroid to pass extremely close to Earth at 47,921 kilometers per hour. Asteroid 2024 NF hurtling towards Earth will come extremely close on this date. NASA's latest asteroid alert is about an aeroplane-sized space rock hurtling towards Earth at a speed of 73,055 kilometers per hour. The space agency has released a list of asteroids that will come close to our planet in the next eight to nine days. The biggest of these is the 220-foot asteroid named 2024 NF. It will make its closest approach to Earth on July 17th. NASA warns about asteroid NM3 to pass by Earth today. NASA has warned about three asteroids that are approaching Earth on July 17th. The biggest of the lot asteroid 2024 NF is 220 meters in size. However, its size has been countered by the distance. It will be at its closest approach to Earth at a distance of 3 million miles. The second asteroid, asteroid 2024, NJ3, will pass Earth from a distance of 763,000 miles. NASA warns against 180-foot asteroid hurtling towards Earth at a scary speed. 
NASA has issued an alert against asteroid 2024 MG1, which belongs to a class of asteroids known as the Apollo Group, which have their Earth crossing orbits and has been hurtling towards our planet at a scary speed of 33,600 kilometers per hour. The asteroid, which measures 180 feet, 55 meters in size, will be making its closest approach to Earth on July 21st, 2024, today. This asteroid is expected to come within the distance of 4.2 million kilometers. 290 feet asteroid LY2 speeding towards Earth at the speed of 28,156 kilometers per hour. From the group of Apollo asteroids, one more has fallen off its orbit and is moving towards Earth at a scary speed of 28,156 kilometers per hour. NASA is closely following the path of this asteroid, asteroid LY2. This space rock measures 88 meters, 290 feet in size, and is scheduled to pass by Earth on July 23rd, 2024, at 1.22 p.m. IST, from a distance of 4.5 million kilometers. NASA warns of 380-foot massive asteroid racing at 29,000 kilometers per hour. It is potentially hazardous. NASA has issued a warning about an asteroid named 2011 MW1, belonging to the Apollo group, which is set to zip past Earth on July 25th, 2024. This massive building-sized space rock measuring 380 feet, 116 meters in diameter, will travel at an alarming speed of 28,946 kilometers per hour, while it will pass by at a safe distance of 3.8 million kilometers. The question arises, could it pose any danger to our planet? Potentially hazardous asteroid 2011 AM24 close encounter. Online observation, the 26th of July, 2024. The potentially hazardous asteroid 2011 AM24 was discovered on 11th of January 2011 by the Catalina Sky Survey. Its diameter is estimated in 500 meters, while the minimum distance will be reached on the 26th of July at 1556 UTC. Of course, there are no risks at all for our planet. The Virtual Telescope Project will show it live online a few hours before its flyby with Earth. This way, you can spot this rock in real time from the comfort of your home. Potentially hazardous asteroid 2024 KH3 close encounter. An image, the 15th of July 2024. Potentially hazardous asteroid 2024 KH3 will have a relatively close but obviously safe encounter with the Earth on the 10th of August 2024 coming as close as 5.6 million kilometers from us. We imaged it while it is approaching us. Now, that's a lot of asteroids. Take a look at this. Rare daytime fireball spotted as meteor falls to Earth over New York City. A meteor crashed into Earth's atmosphere over New York City yesterday, July 16th putting on quite the show for spectators throughout the region. The meteor created a rare daytime fireball that traveled west into New Jersey at speeds of up to 38,000 miles per hour, according to NASA Meteor Watch. The American Meteor Society received several reports of a daytime fireball on July 16, 2024 over New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, Rhode Island, and Pennsylvania. Dramatic fireball footage was captured over Wayne, New Jersey, and Northford, Connecticut. You know, folks, a lot of people didn't even know this happened when it occurred. People have been so preoccupied, they are now just finding out about this. Keep in mind, it's not normal for fireballs to explode over New York City with an audience. And to see that happen 
while you are in the city is kind of scary and a little too close for comfort. But it wasn't the first time, and I'm sure it won't be the last. Earlier this year, people were reporting strange sounds coming from the sky again. The asteroid and meteor events have not slowed down, as you can see. They seem to be increasing. They're hard to keep track of now, and it's always a near miss. I mean, at this point, folks, I think any given night of the week, you can go outside at night and watch the stars, and chances are you'd probably see a shooting star or meteor burning up in the atmosphere. How to see rare double meteor shower in July 2024. A rare double meteor shower is expected to bring breathtaking views in the night skies late July. The Delta Aquarids and Alpha Capricornids are expected to peak together in the night sky on Tuesday, July 30th. Due to combination of the shower's timing, there's the potential for some to see up to 30 meteors moving across the sky per hour, dependent upon sky conditions. I think that makes a total of four meteor showers this month, not to mention the Perseids meteor shower just in this month alone. See, on July 1st, there was a rare sighting of Comet 13P Olbers, visible for the first time in 69 years. We had Mars visible with a crescent moon just above it, while it's going to get brighter as the year goes on. On July 3rd, there was a conjunction between Jupiter and the moon, with the moon above Jupiter. On July 5th, Earth reached its farthest point from the sun, known as Aphelion. On July 10th, Hawaiians experienced the Lahaina noon when the sun was directly overhead at solar noon. From July 12th to the 13th, in New York City, there was Manhattan Henge, which occurs when the setting sun aligns perfectly with Manhattan's street grid. That's when you can look down the street in certain parts of Manhattan and the sun lines up with the middle of the street. It's really cool. I haven't seen it personally, but I've always heard of people talking about it when I was down there. Just recently, people were able to see the Northern Lights in places much further south than it should be. Today is the full buck moon. It's named that for the growing antlers on male deer during this season. I never heard of that one before. Mercury will also reach its greatest eastern elongation just after sunset in the constellation Leo. From July 29th to the 30th, we have the peak of the Delta Aquarid meteor shower, up to 20 meteors per hour. And to top it off, take a look at this. Flights grounded and passengers warned of delays amid global IT outage. Several airlines halted flights on Friday while others warned of delays and service disruptions as an unprecedented IT outage impacted global operations. Early on Friday, cybersecurity giant CrowdStrike, CrowdStrike, really? A company named CrowdStrike has this much of an impact on society? Are you kidding me? They have to be kidding us all. Anyway, they experienced a major disruption linked to a tech update. Organizations, including Microsoft, were left scrambling to restore apps and services used by a huge number of firms. Flight update and check-in monitors at airports around the world display the so-called blue screen of death, indicating a Microsoft system error. Images shared to social media showed a whiteboard displaying flight updates at Belfast International Airport in Northern Ireland and a handwritten boarding pass for a flight with India's Indigo. It seems that for the first time we are facing a real global blackout. The disruption affected not only individual users, but especially large institutions such as banks, including central banks, stock exchanges, airports, paralyzing operations during the peak holiday season and causing chaos in many other sectors. 
Over 38,000 flights had been delayed globally as of about 5 p.m. Eastern Time Friday, with roughly 9,200 of those delays within, into, or out of the United States, according to FlightAware data. More than 4,200 flights had been canceled, with roughly 2,650 of them U.S. flights. Now, I have a question for you that are watching this, and you can leave your answer in the comments section below. How many of you have ever heard of CrowdStrike? And how many of you have seen these blue screens when this outage occurred? Because when I see images of this, a lot of these images of these blue screens look like stock photos. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that this didn't happen. I'm just curious to find out how much of this story is a reenactment. It doesn't feel like it's 100%. Let me know if any of you have seen this blue screen of death pop up anywhere when this happened. I'm sure flights were delayed, but did these blue screens really start popping up all over the place? Again, I don't know. I'm just asking. So, as you can see, folks, there has been quite a bit going on all at once. And I can't help but to think to myself, can all this just be coincidence or is something else going on that they don't want us to know about? It's almost as if they don't want us to make a move, like they don't want us to go anywhere right now. Everything feels like they just want people to stay in their homes. The mass shootings have started up again. We just had an incident with Trump. Now Biden is stepping down. I guess they're planning to prop up Kamala Harris. Good luck with that. Anyway, they really are keeping us all busy right now for some reason. Let me know what you all think. I don't believe all of these occurrences all at once are coincidence and the scriptures do tell us that there will be signs in the heavens. If there was any time you would want to keep your heads up to the sky, I would say now is that time. Well, that's all I have for right now and there is more to come of course. Please press the thumbs up button before you leave. Share this video, leave a comment. I do read through the comments. Today's recommended video, actually I've made a few videos on the falling sky, but I'll leave the link to one of them on screen and in the description box and comments section below. Check those videos out if you haven't already or watch them again as I did upload them some time ago. Everyone have a great day. Thank you for watching and until next time friends, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.